Today, we joyfully present Supreme Master Ching Hai's deep fried vegan rice paper wrap with mushroom filling and vegan squash and coconut soup, part one of two. Hi there. <laughs> We're going to make some uh, simple mushroom wrap, meaning we're going to wrap some mushrooms into rice paper. You can buy them in any uh, oriental shop. I call it uh, rice paper. The thing they are using to make a spring roll, and for that we need a little uh, hot water to soften them before you can wrap them. We also need coriander, mm -hmm. cilantro, and we have some mushrooms, fresh mushrooms, yeah, beautiful mushrooms, wow, seasoned mushrooms, very, very good. That's all we need, yes. And for seasoning, we need just uh, black pepper and a little mushroom seasoning and salt. We have it all there. Yeah. I have some warm water here, not too hot. It's warm. You're gonna soak it in there. And when we need to wrap, we have to soak. Just dip it in quick and take it out. Right now we chop everything together first. And the mushroom and the coriander, we chop them all together. Very finely chopped. We can chop the coriander also in a similar way. Watch this, finely cut. Mm. If you hold uh, the tip of the knife and then just uh, put it like this, this way. The vegetable will not be spraying all over, just stay there. When you're cooking, don't forget to recite the holy name. You can recite any holy name you like. God, Buddha, Jesus, Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Guru Nanak. Any saint that you revere. Maria, Joseph. Like that, your food will be more nutritious because it's blessed by the divine loving power. Coriander already chopped and put there. I'm going to take out the mushroom. Just a handful of coriander and uh, some mushrooms. I have how many here? About seven mushrooms this big. Hmm? As big as my wrist. See that? About seven? Six, seven, eight of them. And we also going to cut them into fine slices and chop them fine now. Yeah. In the similar way, you chop your mushroom finely, as fine as you can. It doesn't matter that much if it's a little rough. You can do it like this also, yeah, holding onto the tip of the knife and the hand of the knife and just gently chop it downward, that's it. Okay. Good. Then we put it together with the coriander, just leave it there and continue chopping until you finish. Uh, Remember to wash all the vegetables. Soak them in salt water as usual. And just recite the holy names or name when you're preparing the food. Even the mushrooms sometimes I put it in a beautiful wrap, wrapped already and clean looking. But I suggest you wash them. Soak them in salty water for three minutes to four minutes and then wash them thoroughly yeah? before using. It's safer that way. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching.
after we chop them all already, we can uh, mix them together. Okay, Make the coriander, the uh, mushroom, mix it thoroughly. Good. Now you put some salt in it, like uh, a teaspoon of salt, a little more. And it depends on you. You taste a little bit and see how it goes. And some mushroom seasoning. Mm. The mushroom seasoning you can put like uh, one tablespoon in it. The mushroom seasoning doesn't have glutamate and it tastes sweet, that's why. And you sprinkle some uh, black pepper in it, like one teaspoon. Yeah. And we put one teaspoon of brown sugar. There's some other kinds of seasoning that you want, otherwise that should be enough. I put a little bit more of the stock seasoning, like one teaspoon. Okay. The stock seasoning is kind of salty, so we just have to be careful with it, that's all. Mix all that seasoning, sugar, salt, black pepper, all together. Mix it all well, okay? I can't even taste it. Mm. Should be okay. I think I put a little bit uh, more black pepper, just a little bit more. But it depends on you, huh? It depends on how how sharp you like it. Huh? How much of the black pepper taste does you like? Okay, we mix it all well now. Wonderful. It's good. good. First, we put some olive oil in the pan and uh, turn the heat on. First, we turn it on very high and wait until the, the oil is hot enough to deep fry. We put like half of the oil in this pot, turn the heat on high, any pot today, <laughs> any frying pot. <laughs> oh, please don't laugh, I don't have enough equipment in my house. Yeah, I'm very simple and sometimes it doesn't look very sophisticated, like it's not a proper uh, frying pan or anything. But I use anything as long as it cooks, okay? At home, if you have a proper frying pan and pot, uh, please use it. <laughs> Don't try to match the exact color <laughs> and the exact pot, okay? No. We have to uh, put the rice paper into the bowl of warm water and get it soft and ready. Then you can put it aside like that, or put it on the chopping board or on a plate to prepare. Uh, if you want to cook this, you have to uh, put the rice paper into the water quickly, but make sure all the sides are wet. And cut it into half, and just prepare one or two at a time, because it gets softened very quickly. And if it's too soft, it's um, not, not easy to handle, yeah? If it's too hard, it won't wrap well. You prepare this similar to the spring roll, you know? I cut it half of it. Now I fill it with some of this mushroom. Just a little. Like a tablespoon, yeah. We we'll wrap this around it. Wrap it nice and well. It doesn't matter <laughs> if it's not nice. You can always eat it. We we'll wrap it. 
just like that. Doesn't matter if you have it, okay? About this size. See? Just wrap it up. Like the finger size, yeah. And put it there. Ready for the next one. One tablespoon. Mm -hmm. You put it right in the middle of it. Not too much, so that it doesn't melt, okay? So one tablespoon. And put the two ends together and roll it. Roll it the finger size. How big the size is or whatever you like. <laughs> it's not a big deal. As long as it tastes good. It looks good, but tastes good is even better, huh? Mm. It both looks good and tastes good, then I'm going to do it. Another one here. Wrap it together. Put the two ends together, you know. Double it. And just roll it. Yeah. Whatever shape it comes out, it's okay. And put it there. Yeah. It doesn't have to be perfect looking. If it's too perfect looking, it uh, will seem like, you know, machine made. <laughs> And it's not so appetizing. Oh, my humble opinion. Okay. The thing is to have fun. Have fun with cooking. Have fun in giving it to people. All right. Yeah. I think the oil is already uh, heated. I got about four pieces here already. It looks like homemade, you know? Like when your mother used to make it simple. And uh, not too perfect looking. <laughs> when she's in a hurry, she doesn't have much time. And she cooks for you with all love, even though it doesn't look like perfectly symmetric. But you like it very much. You come home from the cold, hungry, and the aroma from the kitchen makes you feel so appetized. Yeah, and you're eager to eat anything Mama cooks. That's how it is. If when you soak the rice paper, it's not very soft yet, it's still kind of rigid, then you wait a little while until it's soft before you roll it. When it's soft, you roll it like this, it's easier to make it look perfect and it will not break. If it's too soft, then it will not uh, have a good shape. If it's too uh, hard, it will not uh, stick together and it might break even. If the two sides of the Roll have some mushroom, then you can just take it out mm -hmm. so it doesn't drop into your oil too much. A little bit okay, not too much. Better uh, both ends of the roll uh, that the mushroom doesn't stick out too much. It's better you do maybe one or two at a time so that the the degree of softness is just right for the rice cakes, or for the rice cake, or they call it rice cake also. Okay, right. Because if you uh, prepare too long, too many, and it will be too soft. And don't try to get the juice from the bottom of the mixture. Leave the juice there. You, you take out the mixture, part as dry as possible. The juice will sink at the bottom anyway. Okay, like that. You wrap the two S's together and you roll it. There you are. It becomes a nice roll like this. I think my oil is already heated. I'm gonna pop it in. Alright. Check it out, the oil. You remember how we check the oil? It is uh, hot in there. Mm -hmm. You throw something in it. Like a piece of vegetable. 
I'm sure it's already good. It goes like zzz, then it's already hot enough. Uh, make sure it's not too hot, not too cold. Huh? Your oven is different. So I put one in. Yeah. And another one. And another one. And another one. You can also use cold water to soak or to soften the rice paper. It's just cold water, you have to wait a little longer, but it doesn't have to. Mmm, so it's a good fry, yeah, deep fry, it's with simple. Mm. Maybe we turn the heat a little bit lower, like two thirds of the heat, so that the, uh, it will not quickly burn. Uh, all the way on the side. Keep it, yeah? Two thirds on medium heat is fine. After the oil boils, you turn it lower like that. I'm preparing everything. Meanwhile, We let them fry until they become golden. Then it will be ready. When you roll the the uh, rice paper with mushroom, we try to push down a little bit so that so that the the contents will become. Uh, tight, yeah, and not too much uh, air inside the roll. It's just like that, nice and tight. Always checking if the oil is hot enough or is too hot, yeah, while you are uh, rolling others, checking, checking them. Make sure they don't stick together either. It would be better you don't put too many in one go. And check that they don't stick together. It doesn't matter. If they do, you try to separate them. You can also try to make different shapes, like triangle shape. Huh? Also cool. All right. I think they are fine now. You have to take them out. It doesn't have to be too golden, all right? doesn't have to be very, very gold. Put them on a, a plate with a kitchen towel so that it dries up the oil. I'll put it down there. If we don't use hard oil, while we are frying, then the uh, rolls will not be bubbling, it's just flat. If you use a very hot oil, maybe it has a little bubble surface, that's all. It's not good real. It still can taste good. When you put them in, you put them in one by one and hold them a little bit separately until they, uh, the outside is a little bit dry and hardened so it, they don't stick together that easily. When they are still wet and you put them together at the same time, they stick together and it, it's not easy to separate without breaking the thing. But it won't matter that much. It doesn't matter how it looks. Hmm. 
Okay. And you hold him for a while until the, the outside part him by his side and he will not stick. See, if you feel like the, the stuff is sticking out too much, you can uh, push a little bit both sides in. That's a trick. So it doesn't come out too easily. Use uh, your finger to push the stuff back inside or use a chopstick. Doesn't matter if you <laughs> don't cook it perfectly the first time, you know. Nobody does, so. Maybe you'll be the first one. Hmm. And next time you try it again. You can try different uh, flavors. Hmm. You can use a ready-made mushroom pate from the shop in a can and uh, paste it on and roll it and fry it. It's so nice. See, tuck it in and roll. If it's too much, you just pull it out a little bit. And it doesn't come out, the mushroom stuffing. <laughs> I push the mushroom in a little bit and I roll it like that. And you put the oil with the one, and it has to be all the oil. Just have fun with cooking. Mm. Experiment in your life. Uh, veganism is a very good way to be fun. Yeah. Experimental. We always have to change, you know, our lifestyle for more exciting, more beneficial, and fun way. Yeah. Vegan. Can be a very fun way of cooking. Especially if it's new to you. Like a whole meal already. Yeah, we don't always have to stick to the old lifestyle. Every day is a new day. We experience new things. Vegan food is very delicious and fun to cook. For this kind of food, the best is you eat it immediately after it's done. It tastes better than me. I have tasted some already. It's very, very delicious. And if you have too much, you can always, uh, you know, leave it in the fridge or deep freeze and warm it again next time in the oven or fry it quickly and eat it. I think they are all done now. And we try to throw them out here. So the uh, kitchen tower. <laughs> right. Dry up the oil a little bit. Okay, so we're done. Good. The oil, because you use it only once, you can uh, use it for saute or something. I use it once more again. Hmm? Okay, I'm going to put it on the table. Hey, 
If anything you cook that does look good, you eat them first or you hide them. <laughs> Just show the perfect one, okay? Ingredients. For all ingredients, please use organic versions if available. For the deep fried vegan rice paper wrap with mushroom filling, the ingredients are 6 to 8 button mushrooms, coriander, 1 teaspoon of black pepper, 1 teaspoon of brown sugar, 1 teaspoon of vegetable stock seasoning, a half to 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 tablespoon of mushroom seasoning, olive oil, rice paper, warm water, lettuce, optional, dipping sauce, optional, soya paste, soya sauce, chili sauce. Benevolent viewers, today we have learned how to cook vegan mushroom wrap by using Olexis or Vietnamese rice paper. Are you wondering how it tastes? Please join us at the same time next Sunday for part two of the show, when our beloved Supreme Master Ching Hai will also show us how to make vegan squash and coconut soup. <laughs>